Hey, what's up everyone? This is Peter O'Newton, and today I'm going to show you my AI project for the week. And so, let me just preview here what's going on. You can see the two squads follow their leaders. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. And they follow quite nicely. Look at that following, yes, march soldiers. And so anyway, um, if you actually haven't explored uh, blue utilities there is really wow oh, it's like a really cool tool I haven't got to explore as much as I want to but it's definitely something to look into so I have my leader right here and he's running the line formation now I want him to go to the simple formation and bam at the click of a button he's doing that movement and so you can easily see something like this being able to prototype your behaviors not your behaviors but your functions for the characters interactions so say like if you're if you want to select this group of minions and then you want to call this one action to see how that will work out but say you don't have your UI done and you want to have to hit this key to do something that whatever and it just gets confusing so if you can actually use build utility you can prototype things a lot quicker so that's one thing it's good for uh, good for and so another thing would be for like uh, environment tools so if you want to select objects snap objects just whatever you want to do with actual objects in the world you can use this without it being in play so I can make this guy or say this guy I can update his leader and change it to something like wanderer and it's update state there you go he's a wanderer but yeah it's a one hit leader but you can also edit things in the editor so it's, it's a really useful tool and what I'm learning is I have to start creating more functions within the AI to handle certain things like detecting enemies and expanding on the steering behavior I want to start to put everything into libraries so that they can easily access or turn a knob and just have something done rather than have things sloppy and so yeah that's where I'm at I'm getting everything cleaned up and I'm going to put that into libraries and so yeah I'm going to send out a new update also I've been working on like a monster that I can put in game right now but I don't want to use it at this time only because it's not working the way I want to and this is what really helped me understand that there is a problem because I want this agent and this uh, monster be able to share the same AI and the same everything so they would be enemies that's the only thing I want to be separate I mean different about these two actors and so by putting everything into libraries and actually dressing that up and adding structure it would allow me to make these two the same act the same and interact similar to each other and so that's what i'm working on now all right guys peace